Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Dungeons here on Not Your Professional Walkthroughs channel with me, your host Max. Okay, so on this one we're gonna proceed with our story and our dungeon raids on the previous episode if you have not seen it. It should be featured in the video's description as a link so you can go and do that. We have done quite a lot of exploration so we have gone through at least a couple of locations and we still have a bunch of places to go through so I was thinking let's go to the fiery forge and then let's try the uh, desert temple. And then we can, for example, try to do a more difficult variety of the creeper woods or something like that. So just that we have some new location accessible to us. So why the heck not? This one seems to be a bit more difficult to... Okay. Ooh, both of these are actually... So this is going to be interesting. Uh, recommended power 10. I'm not really sure if that... Is, yeah, our power is only at 8. So maybe... But just maybe if we would go and clear out some of these so we would level up to that tier 8 or tier 10 and then we can do that so how about we go for the the mines the cactic canyon and maybe we can do the pumpkin pastures in order to level up and then we can see if we can fit in a fiery forge or desert temple location so let's go for it there are unsettling rumblings in the mountains of the Overworld. Whispered rumors say the Illagers are building something dreadful far beneath these ancient mines. Something of soot, metal and flame. Only a hero such as yourself could brave the cavernous underground and uncover the truth. So to me, the funniest thing is that usually if you get the intro to the start of the dungeon, which you are supposed to clear out, if you go for the harder difficulty, you will always see that there's just more and more enemy minions spawning in. So what you have to eventually put up with is more and more of a board, and that is where the difficulty might lie. And as you will come across, of course, more and more obstacles to clear out and more and more enemies to contend with. Okay, we're gonna actually load in this thing and hopefully clear it out. Definitely did not see such a infestation last time we were here. They're seriously stepping up their game. And I also need to be careful of these minecarts because if they are moving around, they can actually strike us and deal damage to us. But the funniest thing is that they also deal damage to the enemies so if we time it correctly we can actually make sure that the enemy takes damage from them too we're gonna try to take out the spiders and the skellies from the distance just so that we avoid uh potential arrow damage or pierce damage and potential poisoning but i really need to be careful here okay uh there seems to be some sort of mini boss in here uh the thing is i have no idea oh fuck muppet Look at all of them. Ah, oh, fudge. I actually was the one who took damage there. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, that was some serious damage there. Trying to dodge. Let's go with the pooch. Might actually provide us with the added help here. Distraction. Master Banner. I don't know what does that do. We're gonna try to avoid the minecarts. These little buggers don't do as much damage, so I'm fine with that. Supplies, and I think I hear miners in here, so we're gonna have to start clearing out this place and start freeing up those villagers who were enslaved for the purposes of excavating the redstone okay i have to be careful here with uh, my uh, tnt stick so i would like to preserve it for maybe a bigger ward of enemies our weapon is so far being able to deal with the hordes but if i would come across 
I'm not really sure if there's just one zombie or if there's more of them. I was really hoping there would be more enemies there. But okay, we'll take it. Anything in here? I'm trying to make sure to explore every nook and cranny because apparently they do tend to hide quite a lot of the good stuff in the corners. Okay, we have quite a lot of stuff here. But I don't think I will be using anything right now from any of this stuff. Can we enchant some of this stuff? We have two of these points. Uh, burst bone strength. She was nearby mobs when you roll. Okay, I don't roll that much. Fired arrows sometimes gain the piercing effect which allows them to fly through multiple mobs. Sure, why the hell not? Let's see what that will do. There's gonna be probably super small chance of that happening, but I'll take it. Beautiful. Really love this weapon. I really hope we're gonna get something more decent. So we have cleared out everything there. We need to be careful here with the minecarts. I think I hear them coming. Yeah. Our puppy did take some damage there, so that was bad timing on my end. I feel like there's gonna be again the two of them coming through here. What the heck is an invoker? Oh, okay, I, I recall this guy. Okay, so let's get rid of him. Let's try to avoid taking this much damage. I just had to tough it out there, honestly. We're gonna have to go for another heal because this was really bad. Okay, there's quite a lot of you fellas. We're gonna clear this out using the arrows right now because I do need a substantial heal. Okay, that did help. So now we can again start slicing and dicing. And we're gonna have to deal with that summoning crate over there, or cube, or what you want to call it, in order to make sure we are not harassed constantly. Ooh, rapid crossbow. Let's see, lower rank, and so we will pass. Okay, how about I... I really don't know if these crossbow bolts are poisoned or what's the deal here. Okay, and I think we're gonna have to start freeing up more slaves here, or more villagers. Nice, nice hit, nice hit. Yeah, there's quite a lot of these fellas. Okay, let's go, let's go. You cannot really do something from up so close, huh? Okay, he did not manage to do too much there, so good for us. One shotting, this is awesome. Trying to make sure they are out of the picture. Okay, that's actually the villager. There's quite a lot of them all over the place. Let's avoid that. Nice, 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 nice. It's being cleared out. Another miner. We're gonna have to follow in that way, but I want to see what's actually down here. Oh wow, this is actually locked up, huh? So we will have to probably first free up that last miner over there. Looks like that might be the dead end to this massive location anyhow. So let's go ahead and... Do Why are you mining here of all the places? Look at these massive redstone deposits or whatever this is. And you are mining in the middle of nowhere. I don't even know what these blue crystals are. Is there some new updates to the game and I'm missing a ton of information? Like, what, what, what's the deal here? Okay. Let's get off the high ground because apparently I'm incapable of hitting just about anything. Beautiful. Lots of emeralds. But something has enchanted those spiders. I just don't know what the heck did that. Oh wow, that's a big guy. Okay, we did dispose of him. I'm gonna have to pop a heal here. Okay, that's a big chest. Big chest with a bunch of stuff. Okay, 
Okay, I wanted to have them rooftop. up. That, that was a torture. It looks like our wolf was able to take care of them. Which is awesome. Are some of these potions, I don't know. And are we reaching already the zone with the redstone golem? Yeah, I think so. so this is gonna be tricky. This guy is a tough cookie to crack. And so we're gonna use that. I'm gonna try to explore. So previously, uh, this was the end of the raid, but I didn't think they're gonna just call it quits like that, right? Damn it! With the dynamite, I really hate the fact that you don't have a better control over the projectile. It kind of makes it completely pointless for you to even then have it. If you throw it like, uh, well, if like I was in charge of throwing it. So the rumors are true. The villagers are building a dreadful forge under the mountain. I mean, to me, it doesn't look like a forge yet. To me, it simply looks like they're just excavating and mining for resources, because. If you play Minecraft, you do need redstone for engines and, and, and pistons and all sorts of other mechanics, which I have no idea how they work. Okay, what is this? Corrupted Beacon fires a high-powered beam that continuously damages mobs. 160 artifact damage per second, 2.5 second cooldown, 1 soul gathering, requires souls, so I feel like I would need to combine these two things. So what if we switch these two? I will not use this, um, which might suck a bit, but honestly, uh, let, let's go with this. I, I want to equip this thing. I just want to salvage the armor because it uh, has a nice price to it. I'm not really sure if it's worth upgrading. We still have to wait for the uh, blacksmith to upgrade that first thing, which uh, we have received. Let's keep the horn for now. We don't have any duplicates of that thing. And how about we salvage this too? So let's take a look at what the village merchant has to offer. Uh, so this looks like some sort of club. This is a rapid crossbow. Not really sure if it's better. Uh, Enchanter's Tome. Cast random enchantments on up to two allies that will aid when... Yeah, so we want to do that. Uh, scale Mail. Plus 46 health. 35 damage reduction percent. Plus 30% melee. Okay, that sounds interesting. That would be actually improvement. Wait, what do you mean reserve? Is it because it's for level 12 or something and we aren't high level enough, right? Uh, so that sucks. We can, however, reserve it. Uh, reserved item. Reserving an item means that it will remain available until you buy it or unreverse it and restock the merchant's inventory. Okay. The rest of these things, I'm not that crazy. So it's still gonna take one more turn to see what happens to the pickaxe. Okay, we are now level level 10. Okay, good news there. So, oh man. But this is like level 11. So I'm not really sure why the hell this is uh, functional and we aren't able to obtain even higher level armor. Okay, so let's just... Uh, ta -ta -ta. So it looks like we have finished quite a lot of stuff in the redstone mines. Uh, how about we do the Cactus Canyon? Or do we want to do the Pumpkin Pastures? You know what, let's do the Pumpkin Pastures. I, I don't recall coming here. Or maybe it's been quite a long time, so who knows. Well, let's switch it up, see what's the up. The Illager Raids have roasted this once lush land to ruin. Only one village remains unspoiled in this corner of the world. Make haste, hero. You must warn the villagers there of the battle to come. You are their only hope. They have literally fires burning behind the hill. 
Are you trying to tell me they would not see the smoke? Look at all these arrows! Why can't I reclaim all this ammo? That sucks. Okay, so hopefully the combo of the two uh, relics where we gather up the souls uh, is gonna be able to work together. Just gonna have to somehow see uh, what I can do exactly with it and how to run with it successfully. I wanna pop in the dog because the dog is extremely helpful. It does allow me to keep the enemies occupied. Okay, I don't think that dynamite stick is gonna do too much there. But it did at least kill that big tough guy. Come on, Pooch. Follow me. Okay, so the cattle has been left unharmed. But I actually think like they would take the animals because uh, you would think that they need to feed the army or something, right? Nice double kill there. Like that. Did he summon or enchant or enhance that skeleton? That's my question right now. So far, so good. Let's see what's down in here. We have quite a long way to go. We're able to one-shot these enemies at least, so that's good news. Seems like there might have been something previously, like some sort of altar or god knows what, but now it's empty. Did I even spot this skeleton, to be honest? Okay. Ooh, wow, nice. TNT. And now I'm forced to keep doing melee until I come across a big mob of enemies. That was just, uh, seriously, we really need to gain control over the shots fired because even my dog went down the cliff and now we need to wait for him to be able to respawn. Man, I would never be able to build something so cool like this in Minecraft. My designs suck. Like I said, I usually just dig a hole in the ground and I do some sort of underground shelter where the enemies cannot appear. <laughs> yeah, not, not, not the best architect in here. Okay, it seems like we are able to go hard inside of the show. <laughs> yeah, it was bad, so let's do the heal. Looks like we have a merchant. Mystery merchant. No idea what the, the mystery merchant offer. Uh, okay, so it looks like we are going to be able to access some sort of car caravan stuff. This whole uh, side of the ship seems to be blocked off. Okay, interesting. So thank god I did go inside. Let, let's go and follow me. I think I heard them from here, right? Come on. You wanna play? Man, that's a lot of pumpkins. Okay, be honest, how many of you wanna just start playing Minecraft for some reason? And try to build that ship which we saw. Man, it would be awesome if you would finish off the mission and for example one of the rewards would be like a blueprint to try and build this ship on your own you know because then you have motivation to go and play minecraft and minecraft is still an awesome game okay that's annoying it looks like we have the summoner still able to one shot these guys huh and I'm still able to keep on going down through here. And this is like a second place like this. Not really sure what it's meant to be for. So we're gonna... Wow, it looks like we have even a way to get up there through here. So if I would backtrack, we might be able to do just that. I'm not sure if this is like an apple orchard or what's it meant to be. So far, not really able to use up that new uh, trinket which we picked up. I think we just leveled up, so we might be able to pull off uh, a level 10 raid. I 
think I just one shot at someone. Yep. Ooh, that's a big spider. Why would you burn a pumpkin? This is not how you get pumpkin spiced stuff. Okay. Oh, oh wow. Did you see that? That was awesome, but it lasted for such a short period of time. I wasn't even sure I'm I'm using it properly. But okay, so it looks like you cast this massive, massive energy ray or something. Okay, let's see what what is up in here. There's nothing. Why would you build a fortification up in here? And there's there's like nothing to follow it with, or, or like there's absolutely nothing to protect it with. It's kind of confusing here. Okay. Nice dynamite stick. Damn it! I keep forgetting that if I have the TNT, the next thing which we have as ranged attack is automatically the TNT. There should be some sort of control over that. Like you should be able to pick that. Yes, now I'm shooting the TNT. Yes, now I'm actually shooting the arrows. It, it would help me prevent tossing away so many dynamite sticks. It's not even freaking funny at some point. Okay, I'm not really sure where to go because we have like two ways to approach this. So I'm gonna try to go up in here and... Okay, so it's it's showing me with the arrow that we need to go up there. So that is why I want to go through here and potentially explore through here. Man, that's a lot of crows. That reminds me a lot of Sergi Belly. Okay, there's this weird hole in the ground preventing me to proceed further. Um, sure, give me a dynamite stick from inside of a spider. And then again, I do the same stupid thing. There has to be some sort of control, which I'm just missing, right? Maybe I'm just too dumb or something, I don't know. I don't know if I'm also supposed to come here. This looks like some village which was uh, decimated. What is up with these statues of the horses? Lovely pumpkins though. Okay, and now we're gonna get... Okay, are you gonna spam more enemies or not? Are you really, really trying to tell me I have to look for them? Got it. If he's gonna run away, I'm just gonna shoot him. I don't need to put up with that BS. To, to use the trinket where we pick up the souls just for these guys, it's kind of waste. Okay. There seems to be a chest here. Some armor seems to be something inside of this place okay love the rug oh wow that, that is awesome okay so there's some cooldown but we need to make sure that we have enough souls in order to use this so I cannot just go all willy-nilly spamming it left and right there has to be a decent enough mob of enemies in order for it to be like a proper use but fortunately for us, we are able to keep on harvesting the souls thanks to the weird book. I'm not even sure where the wolf is going, but I'll follow it. There's another potion like this. Is there a chest? Where did you guys come from? Okay, dynamite. Uh, okay. Let's take bets. Who thinks that I'm gonna screw this up and toss the dynamite again like a total goofball forgetting that uh, the next ranged attack is automatically the dynamite stick? Let, let's see it in the comment section. Not my proudest moment, right? Okay, why are you stopping? I didn't tell you to stop. What is it in here? This seems like a dead end. Is this some sort of tavern? This is the 
best tavern I have ever seen designed in Minecraft so far. Okay. What is this weird obsession with spamming enemies like this? Is there anything else? I have to be careful about those exploding thingies. Those totems can be a mess. Okay, so we definitely did not have enough juice to power this. Why are you giving me Enderman? Oh wow, there's actually two of them. Come on, you can do it. Make me proud. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, there's a big chest. Another big chest. I'll take it. What is this? We just pressed a button. Man, this place is massive. Okay, what's down in that corner? Is there something for us to consider picking up or checking out? Man, they have candles. Can you actually make even candles in Minecraft? I don't think so, right? This is such a fire hazard. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay. How the hell do I get across here? Seriously. Is that even possible? I don't know what to do in here. That sucks. I do see that zombie over there, which I was able to take out. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna be able to pick up that piece of soul. Okay, this is some sort of ender stone or something, right? Or what's it called? Someone has to let me know. I'm gonna probably piss off against so many people that are fans of the game. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like the game, but I'm not that obsessed with it. I kind of like to jump all over the place. I'm not really sure if I'll have to come back in here. We're gonna have to probably explore the other portion of the map, which we haven't explored as of yet. Maybe I'm missing some piece of something. You know. Who knows? Okay, this is all locked off. I'm not really sure how the hell to get the message across to the other guys. We're gonna have to follow the arrow and go all the way away from this village and return to that uh, other direction which is up in here somewhere so that's all gonna be fun okay can i like speed this up After what feels like an eternity, we are back at it. How was the spider able to uh, spit the webbing when it was dead already? That should not be happening, right? Okay. Okay. Seems like some sort of fort or castle. Oh, fudge Muppet again with you. I want to preserve the ammo from that weapon for all the souls we have picked up. Okay, that, that actually did work. Okay, again I'm betting that I'm gonna screw up with the dynamite stick. There's more dynamite, I would love to pick that up. Damn it! How did I know I'm gonna F this up? I'm quite sure there's gonna be a whole lot more of them, right? Nice. That was awesome. Did you see that? That was so cool. Here, this thing has a use. Elsewhere? Yeah, I'm not sure. We get arenas like this. Oh, 
awesome. Able to clear out a whole lot of enemies, able to pick up a whole bunch of souls. I think I accidentally shot my dog. I'm probably not the best owner then, huh? This is really helping. And because there's so many of them spawning in... Oh, we are totally out of arrows, huh? Why is my dog full of arrows? Is my question. He's gonna die soon. Ooh, I need to press this now. Oh, fudge my Okay, we got some arrows here, thankfully. I would love that dynamite stick. Uh, let's throw it up in here. Uh, I should have preserved it, maybe. Probably, yeah. Okay, let's press this. Okay, I'm quite sure you cannot build this in Minecraft, right? How long has it been since I played this thing? Quite a long time, actually. It's not Minecraft Dungeons, it's like my first outing into the game and I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> totally did not see that skeleton. Let, let's go and summon that pooch. Let's go and take care of the skellies. Please don't tell me this is some sort of dead end or something weird like that. Uh, should we take a look at the weapons? Uh, 14! God damn it! Yeah, but the power is greatly reduced, so I'm not really sure if I want to go with the daggers. And the sword, uh, 16 till 26. This is 21 till 30. So... Yeah, I think I'm gonna hold on to my weapon. The pig is not seeing me, which is why it did not trigger the runaway animation, probably. Oh, uh, man, why do you keep giving me dynamite? I'm gonna most likely F it up somehow. Okay, thank you. Nice. Okay, so that's the way we need to go, so let's go the other way around. There might be some sort of chest or something for us to pick up. Or some mob to deal with. You, you just never know. The more souls we collect, the better we are gonna be off against larger enemy groups later on. I wanted to throw it a bit better, but like I said, no control over where the dynamite is flying into, so... Yeah, I was expecting a bit more. Uh oh, hold on. Almost did not notice it there. I know it's just a bunch of emeralds, but you never know. Usually in games like these, it's it's always that case that you are lacking that one or two pieces of currency in order to pick up that piece of equipment, which is exciting. So let's go and proceed further. And if we clear this out, we should gather sufficient quantity of experience in order to try and go for one of those more difficult locations, right? We have definitely not done the pumpkin patch before. I do not recall coming here before. Are these like meant to be apples? Oh fudge. Let's take care of the creepers. This is like some sort of apple orchard, huh? Man, I love it that they can ride the ducks. That's so cool. I don't know where he summoned the explosive totem. Okay. So from this range, I'm able to take care of him. I have to just make sure to not click away from the screen because apparently... Fudge! Oh, man, I hate this thing with the dynamite. Why is this happening to me? Lord of God, when I pick up the, the dynamite stick, I should like totally cut off my middle finger or something in order to not keep throwing the dynamite like a total dumbass. 
And we are dodging, and we are dodging, and we are looking for a large enemy group, which might be able to accommodate the needs of this thing. Beautiful. You see, like, like over there, I, I can see myself using the dynamite over there, because one of the skeletons even fell off the cliff and just totally got boned by that. And it was one of the armored ones, I think. And I think we just saw the, the armor piercing or the enemy piercing ability as the arrow flew through an actual cow into a sheep. It looks like they got to the village before I did. This is awesome. A scarecrow, a mill. You definitely cannot build a mill like this, right? Please tell me you cannot build a mill like that. Okay, so let's do this. Okay. Man, you really are annoying with this. You know that, right? And now I'm gonna probably have to go around clearing out the village. Okay, here goes that. Are they gonna be spawning just here? Okay, he got stuck in the little crack here in the floor. That's awesome. Makes it a bit more easier for me, I guess. We should be excited about that. Lots of souls for us to harvest. Okay, nice. Let's kill this guy. Let's kill this guy. Bit for oh, fuck him up. Okay, uh, we need to be careful with those traps there. Nice. So, I think I was able to clear out this. We did ring the bell. I want to see if there is potentially anything where we might be able to go inside or pick up whatever. Really upset that we weren't able to proceed further in that thing. Oh my god, even this ship looks better than anything I would ever build in Minecraft. Why is this happening to me? <laughs> I'm so horrible at designing stuff in Minecraft. Oh man, is this gonna be... Huh? Okay, so is that it? Did we clear this out? Or... You did it and the villagers of the Pumpkin Pastures go on to fight another day. Oh man, with these loot crates, I'm still conflicted about it. Light Feather. No one knows that mysterious creatures this feather came from. But it is beautiful and powerful. Uh, how the hell is that supposed to help me? Okay, let's take a look at this thing. Collect. Okay, great. So now all I can do with it is probably... So, I don't know, maybe if we upgrade the sword? I'm not really sure what to try and upgrade here, because... Uh, no, 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 no. I want to see the merchant. We do have this thing reserved. Uh, so can I buy it now? And how about this thing? Tempest Knife. Power Speed uh, Area. I'm not sure how is it in comparison to the other stuff. And it looks like we need to reach more levels in order to gain access to even more wares. Uh, this is level 11, that would be awesome. But first we need to take a look at our stuff in here. So we're gonna salvage this. Uh, is this the new one which I picked up? Yeah, probably. Okay, so this one has actually a bunch of enchantments already on it. So, at least we are regaining our uh, enchantment points, so that's awesome might be able to pour them into the new stuff okay so let's clear out all this junk from our inventory uh this one is even better so let's do that uh, let's clear out these things 
I'm gonna hold on to that. I'm gonna sell this or salvage it. Uh, I don't know. This is like an epic quality thing. So, so far we have only one of those. So let's not do that. Okay. Can we do anything with you? Can we do anything with you? We can't do anything with you. So we have a level 6 glaive. And that's 21 out of 30. It's quite powerful. The speed is horrible, however. So, uh, speed is better. Power, I'm not sure how it comes to comparison. But it's level 13. So I want to take a look at it. Because we have not had a better weapon lately. So maybe, why the hell not? Okay, what is this? Scale mail. What do these? Every 0.5 seconds damages all nearby enemies. Uh, rolling uh, creates a trail of fire behind you, which deals damage. Okay, how about we go with these two? We can go up to tier 3, but I want to upgrade even this. Increase damage against the undead. There's quite a lot of them. Your attacks decrease the attack damage of all nearby enemies for 5 seconds. Oh, wow. Okay, okay, interesting stuff. Uh, we can actually go uh, two tiers with the upgrade here. Um, well, let's go with this. Because we don't have always just zombies to deal with, right? Uh, should I try to upgrade this, honestly? It's gonna take uh, quite a long time, and I'm not sure how many levels is it going to proceed further. But I do like the weapon, so ah, why the hell not? Okay, and I am trying to think... Oh, yeah, the Luxury Merchant. Let's go check him out. Enchanter's uh, Tome. Yeah, I don't want that. And what about the Mysterious Merchant? Uh, random Melee Weapon. Give me a random Melee Weapon. Item Power 8 till 14. 8 till 14. You gotta be kidding me. This feels like, again, buying into loot crates. This is gambling, Minecraft. Or, or Microsoft, or, or whoever is in charge of this. Okay, let's go for it. Uh, storm Lander. The Storm Lander enchanted with the power of the Raging Storm. Okay. I'll, I'll take it. It's, it's probably decent stuff. Oh, wow. It's actually good stuff. The speed is horrible in comparison to this thing. But the area and the power is awesome. So, oh wow. Okay, that's 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 massive. That's compensating, obviously, for something. Uh, we can enchant stuff. Uh, so, deal increased damage against already wounded. And makes your weapon sharper, causing it to deal more damage. I think this is the way to go. And claim the emeralds. Is there anything else which I'm missing out in this location? Any more merchants? There seems to be more chests with emeralds for some reason. How many more are there? I haven't checked out in quite a long time, actually. Okay, and now with this impressive hammer, which is obviously not a ripoff of the Mjolnir, we're gonna try to go into the Fiery Forge. Should we do this, or should we do the Desert Temple? Let, let's do the Forge. The Forge seems like a fun idea. Oh wow, there's quite a lot of them. The Fiery Forge. Where the Arch Illager builds monstrous machines that devastate the villages of the Overworld. It must be stopped. Strike with everything you've got, and raise this forge to ruins. What the hell is that? Okay, let's see how this hammer deals with the masses. We're gonna summon our uh, friend here, our companion. And we're gonna see what's up. Uh, okay, interesting stuff. Definitely getting stunned by the cobwebs here, so let's try to avoid dealing with that mess. Nice. Okay, let's avoid all this. And is there anything else besides the swiftness potion? And that's like some sort of anvil or something. That's awesome. Yeah, so the attack on this thing is definitely super slow. But maybe we can roll with it. Who knows? 
it's awesome that you get back the enchantment points uh, out of these items. Like some of these games, if you decide to sell or, or like uh, salvage these uh, components or weapons, that's it. You cannot return back anything from them or gain anything back from them. How's the armor? 15. That seems actually awesome. A 58 health, uh, but it's common armor. Uh, let's let's see how the reinforced mail will do. Okay. We have eight souls. That looks like one of the golems that has died here. Maybe the bridge has fallen. Okay, lots of lava or magma or what you want to call it. Okay, nice. I do see the spiders. Okay, I'm not really sure where he was aiming at, but I'm quite sure if I step on this, I'm gonna take some damage. So I'm gonna try to avoid that because we can even see that the dog is doing that thing. So he's trying to actively avoid the fire. This is actually cool. You can like see the, the levels of how much of magma is flowing through this place. Although I'm not really sure if this would work. Like I think uh, for it to remain at its temperature and for it to like not start to cool off. Uh, I don't know what would have to happen here so that this just doesn't go dark. Because it looks like they also use it as a potential source of light. You know, so it's it's kind of uh, weird uh, to put all your eggs into this sort of basket which can cool down on you, especially if you have, like, uh, cracks in the ceiling and it's snowing down from there. Okay, 142 with those. What is up in here? Besides these folks, which did not help them apparently because the hammer does not care. There's unfortunately nothing else for us to pick up in here, so we're gonna have to follow this way. Okay, there's quite a lot of them. Now, this would be awesome to have the rocket here. Okay, so I have decided to use up the uh, weapon here because there were just way too many mobs uh, and with ranged attack too. Let them enjoy the TNT stick. I don't think they did like it as much as I did, that's for sure. Okay, that works out fairly well. If they line up like that in a row, then this uh, artifact is just awesome. It deals so much damage to them, and it like pierces through the enemy, so it does not discriminate, honestly. I don't need to really use it here because they are just slowly approaching me like a bunch of idiots, letting themselves be shot at. So I can just use up the plentiful uh, supply of arrows which we picked up here. And I'm just able to keep clearing this out. And uh, therefore potentially save up the uh, beam of power for some tougher cookie. Because I'm quite sure there might be some massive, massive golem or what the hell was that thing which we saw. Uh, one of those uh, monsters coming out from. So I cannot use the ranged attack here. Have to deal with the spiders. Where's my puppy? Redstone golem. Okay, so I do see the HP bar, but I do not see the enemy yet. What is this? Oh wow, okay. 
so let's go ahead and use the TNT stick. I think he is stuck, so I'll just abuse the hell out of this. Although I should not try to waste my... Oh, fudge. Okay, let's run. These things are gonna blow up. Unfortunately, we're not dealing as much damage as I would like. To this thing. We are taking a ton of damage here. So it does have quite a fierce resistance there. Did pick up another armor. And this one is of level 20, so we will definitely go for that. What are you crazy? That should definitely help us out. Okay, we will have to run away from here. So I'm not really sure what purpose is this fulfilling. Okay, he's just taking those arrows like a boss. I cannot hit those guys. Let's dispose of them. That was kind of a wasted shot there. Let's heal. Let's kill him. Therefore, they are not enhanced. I think we have cleared out whatever is up in here. We're gonna have to go for those other switches there. So, there should be one up in here. So let's back up. We're gonna call our pooch over to our place so that he does not take unnecessary damage. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, oh, fudge. Let's keep calling him to our location. Let's toss that dynamite. It's gonna deal quite a lot of damage to them. Oh, fudge. Okay, there's quite a lot of them. Nice, chain lightning. I like that. Really nice. Awesome. Let's trigger this. Pull the dog over there. Did we miss out on something? No, we can proceed through here. So let's do that. Let's try to use this weapon against them. Oh wow, almost got hit by that wave. I'm quite sure that would be painful. I'm not sure how much damage does the chain lightning do. Uh, there seems to be some sort of entry to God knows what. God, that was awful. I, I mostly did hit my own dog with that hit. Let's do this. Ah, oh, fudge. This is gonna... Oh man! Okay, so that's really painful. And now we need to descend down into this location, apparently, right? Is that it? What is this? I don't like that. Okay, if they're gonna be spawning in one by one, then I don't care. Come on, you can do better. Okay, let's heal up. Nice. Okay. We're still taking quite the substantial damage, actually, despite everything. Even if we picked up a decent uh, piece of armor. 15. This should be... Uh, yeah, that's definitely weaker. What are you fighting, boy? Where? Ah, man. Again with this stuff. Okay. Definitely did something. You have quite a lot of arrows. But he does have a definitely strong left hook. Come 
while he's messing around with that. Just go ahead and deal damage to him. Nice. Okay. These things are definitely nothing to screw around with. You're gonna have to call in another pup in order to assist me. Definitely need the help. It takes uh, pressure away from me, so I'm able to deal with the hordes of enemies. Okay, so we're gonna have to go through down here, right? Okay, we need to go and kill the piggy. I don't care that I'm taking damage from that zombie, I just need to get the loot. Uh, there might be something nice. Uh, unfortunately, no luck this time. Dodge. Nice. Come on. You can do it. I'm trying to hit all of them so that theoretically the chain lightning might finish them off. And these guys do take quite a lot of punishment, huh? Let's clear this place out. Okay, beautiful. Really nice job there. And this place is quite extensive, huh? They're not screwing around. Definitely did not take any shortcuts in designing this place, too. I mean, it is magnificent. If I would be able to design anything like this... I would probably not be ashamed to publish some content for the actual Minecraft on the show. What the hell did I just pick up? Great hammer. Now that's definitely overcompensating for something, right? Again, not happy with how the dynamite toss went. It should not be this easy to click away from the screen. Cut off the audio just so easily. Enchantment point obtained. What is up in here? Did we go up here before? No. We should go and check out everything. So this is the forge. This makes sense. The other thing should be just like a redstone mine or something. Okay, that's awesome. Do you wonder why nobody ever tried to like do a mine where they would use the magma from an active volcano in order to produce iron? Would it probably require too much uh, chemical adjustments and uh, extracting the iron from the other compounds and minerals in order for it to be a viable option and that might be a bit too pricey probably. No, I'm not really sure. Maybe I'm full of BS here. Who knows? Come on. You can do it. What is up in here? You know that the spiders are still super weak to the arrows. But everything else is uh, showing much more resistance. I don't know if that's like an exit. Where the heck did I just get? Is this like some brand new location we haven't explored yet? It seems that way. Okay, definitely got stuck here. Wait, so is the cobwebbing even like uh, damaging me or is it just like uh, stunning me? Because then, if it does not uh, damage you, all you need to do is just wait out the effects and make sure nothing else comes close to you. Which is kind of weird. It should definitely deal some damage or some slow down potentially. In order to spice things up, you know? Yeah, I'm really not sure what to do here. I, I cannot get over to that thing. Why are there so many skeletons in here? Okay, I don't know how to get to this thing, honestly. 
That's unfortunate. I don't know if I would need to have some sort of longer range weapon in order to break it or god knows what. But it's not the weapon which breaks it, so... I don't know. Okay, let's just keep on shooting. Okay, I unfortunately got stuck here. Like I said, I did not see any difference in my HP or anything, so... I'm not really sure what's the uh, overall effect meant to be. Did we clear out this whole thing? I think we did. We did not come across anything super rare in here, which is mostly unfortunate. I was really hoping to come across some sort of loot in here. But we did clear out this entire level. So we're just gonna have to probably return from once we came. Whoa, we were kind of struggling there a bit. Okay. So now we're gonna have to go to where that red golem was uh, probably uh, meant to be at, huh? I wanna first seek out these dudes. Okay. Come on, let's go in the distance. You can do it. Make me proud. Really nice. Really nice. Okay, there seems to be like another way down to some uh, other level of uh, probably which is going to be full of skeletons. Man, if I would have known there's so many undead enemies in here, I swear to god I would have gone for that upgrade to deal extra damage to them. Some dynamite for me to screw around with. Awesome. Always appreciate that. Nothing better. Nice. How about you? Nothing? Nothing, huh? Oh wow, did you see them? They just popped in! What the hell? Let's toss that dynamite up in there. Maybe it's gonna do some good in there. Definitely did get some kills out of that dynamite stick there. That's quite a lot of you fellas. I mean, maybe I will at least uh, gather up sufficient quantity of souls for the golem to use the weapon for him. Or the artifact of what should I call these trinkets. So we are just walking around. There's still that chest which I did not pick up. We're, we're still not done here. Don't worry. I want to make sure we get every nook and cranny. Okay, so let's go. Oh wow, there's Skelly. Okay, how did we miss him? Or it. I'm really sure if we can put... Sex to a skeleton, but okay. So pick up. Ooh, nice. Another stick of dynamite. That's so fancy. It would be awesome if I would probably save up a stick of dynamite for the golem. But there's no guarantee that's gonna work out because, of course, it's me. So, like, my middle finger is off the mouse completely so that I don't accidentally press the damn thing. And do not throw the dynamite but even if we have then the dynamite there's no guarantee I'll be able to aim it somewhat close enough to the golem in order for it to take damage from the explosive so we're gonna have to see what's up but okay we have cleared out two of these sections here so we're gonna have to go into here and there is where we saw the golem uh, bar or, or like the warning that he's there or something right or the gauge, or what, what should I call it? He was somewhere around here, right? After this. Yeah, redstone golem. Okay, that worked out. They take the damage from that thing. Not really sure why that did not work out. So while he's doing this, we're gonna... Wow, he's actually quite fast for a big guy like that, huh? Let me impress you. I'm not even sure how many souls you we honestly have right now. I just keep on doing the melee until we can. He keeps getting stuck here, which is his downfall. I have still plenty of arrows to go around with. And we're gonna resummon the dog. Why can't I see the armor? Oh wow, okay, that, that was funny. 
Team Lightning is definitely doing stuff. Nice. Really nice. So we made a fast work from them. We're out of them. Yeah, there's gonna be some big, big battle here. Oh, fudge. Most likely waste all the arrows. Okay, awesome. Holy crap, are you kidding me? I'm using up all the souls. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god, that should not be allowed to be done. We have completely exhausted our soul reserves, apparently. So it seems like this is the gauge for the souls, right? Man. Should this even be considered a boss battle? <laughs> what the hell did I just see happen? Oh, man. Power bow. Okay, ammo is lower. And then there is... We actually picked up two of them. And each of them has a different enchantment. Increase the chance for mobs to drop consumables. Okay. A power boost arrow. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, let, let's continue. Let's try to avoid the lava. Yeah, why do I feel like there's going to be even more boss battles to put up with here? Okay, that did not exactly uh, go to our fudge. Why did I have to fall into that stuff? Do we have some water for me to cool down in? I really need to use up uh, the heal here. Uh, we're gonna use the dog soon. Oh, wow, we can go all the way down. Nice. So let's seek a dip. Probably haven't showered in a while. And I'm quite sure we must smell like ash and smoke from here. So let's keep gathering the souls again. Because I'm not really sure if we are done here yet or not. That worked out fairly well for me. Let's seek him out. Really nice. I think the new bow is now again uh, dealing more damage. I totally did not realize that, so I'm kind of wasting ammunition here. Okay, we're gonna have to go through the middle in here, apparently. Oh, he's gonna die because of the damn fire damage. And that should be it. The fiery forge is destroyed. Well, not really. The war machines of the Illagers have been smashed. Okay, let's take a look at this. Soul Healer. The Soul Healer amulet is cold to the touch and trembles with the power of souls. I'm not really sure what to think of all these souls, but we don't have enough keys here for me to utilize all these things. So if I don't want to lose the dog, uh, it's, it's kind of shitty because I would have to sacrifice one of these things. And I'm not sure if I can uh, keep collecting souls without the Harvester. When used, the Harvester releases souls in an explosion. Oh, okay, so no. So I said I need this book in order to actually harvest these things for this stuff. So probably no. Okay, so we're gonna just ditch that. And range damage per second. Uh, I don't know. Let's, let's do this. Well, let's go like this. So we have a quite a strong hammer. We can go with power bow. Which would deal quite the substantial damage here. And I think the looting would be actually an interesting thing to uh, go into. Because we have a 100% chance that loot is being dropped. So let's let's do that. We're going to salvage this armor. This massive uh, hammer is just... Uh, no. Just, just no. Must be clunky as hell and not really that usable. 
Uh, so we're gonna salvage all of these cool things. Uh, I uh, you know, let's let's salvage this thing too. And even the mail. Uh, should I hold on to that thing? Honestly, I I don't think so. We have so many more better things right now. We have quite a lot of the emeralds. Eight points to go with the enchantments. So. What can we actually invest in these things even more? Uh, what is this? Chains has 30% chance to chain a cluster of mobs together and keep them bound for a short time. Interesting. A busy bee chance to summon a bee after defeating a mob with up to three bees joining your side. I would probably go with the, the, the chains. Uh, let's go with the increased damage here just in general. And we can try to do, what is this? A lot of the sea increases your luck, which boosts the chance of that rare drops become unique. Okay, uh, let's go with that. And what is this? Snowball. Fires a snowball at a nearby enemy every few seconds, briefly stunning it. A thorns. Whenever you take damage, you deal damage back to the attacker. That might be interesting. Why the hell not? Artifacts are here. We have everything over here. So we're gonna see how this is gonna work out eventually So yeah, that's gonna be it for another fun episode So if you did like it big thumbs up helps a lot with the algorithm if you want to see more Let me know through the comment section You can check out the playlist through the video's description or at the end of the video And for more fun content like this make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell So you get updated whenever I publish new episodes on the channel I'm gonna wish you a pleasant rest of the day and hopefully I will see you all at the next one Thank you for watching and bye bye for now